So we went down to South Milwaukee. What happened with that? Well, there wasn't a lot to see. No. Six food trucks. The band was about a hundred a hundred people there for six food trucks all in line. Mm -hmm. Band was singing about chocolate Jesus or something. Yeah, chocolate Jesus and what crack pimple. Yeah. So then wasn't we. A lot to see. No. Then we walked hipsters hipsters out the butt. A lot of inbreeding, I would say. Yeah. South Milwaukee's a strange area. It is. It's then we we. Strange. Mom thought that it would be like any other city where if we walked around a little bit, we'd find something interesting, did we? Not a bit. No. Antique so shop weird. with, uh, weird. yeah, about 15 teeth among the whole town, I'd yeah. say. The, uh, the whole theme was fat folks and ape hanger Harleys. Yeah, that was the trend, yeah. That was it. Needless to say, we won't be going back whenever they have the next one. No. No. no greatest food truck ever. Is that what it was called? Something like that. Greatest food truck event? Yeah. There was yeah. only like six food trucks there. Six food trucks. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't much. No. Deb was pretty let down. Yeah, she cried a little bit. And then launched her into another episode of depression. Wet her, wet her pants. A little bit. Then she was mad because she was hungry and we said, well, let's go to the night spot, and then we found out that one. Yeah, night the, owl. the night owl, yeah. The night owl, and that was closed, closed. on Sundays. Now we're going to get some pizza. Yeah, we're going to wait in for Cino's now. Yeah. That'll, that'll be good. That'll, that'll be yeah. good. I went with a deep dish pan pizza this time. I don't generally do that, but this time I did. And I went, I went with the veggie, the classic. I went the with classic. the black olives, which is, you know, really stepping outside of my comfort zone. I don't do that a lot. You know, I'm from the Midwest. We, we tend to stay in our comfort zone as much as possible. That's what this whole thing is about in the Midwest. You know, we're a comfort zone kind of a, kind of an environment. I'd say so. It. Yeah. You know, we like our things regular. We, we don't like change is the big thing. It's true. The Midwest, you know, we, we go with what we know. That's what this whole thing is about. Yesterday was pretty exciting. Pretty for you it was. You know what? It wasn't bad for me either. I uh, got the temps. Yeah. Only had six wrong. I just moved a bunch of dirt. And, you know, got ready to start on our lakeside garden over at work. Oh, right on. Yeah, that was cool. What kind of stuff are you planting this year? I'm, I'm not planting anything. You know, I'm just I'm setting up the garden, and then we'll let the employees run with it as they will. Well, there you go. There's a certain level of excitement when you put in a new garden. See, that's that's another thing with the Midwest. We're big on our gardens out here. I used to plant corn, but then the uh, vermin would get to it just when it was just about harvest time. Yeah. The vermin would tear it down. That happened to us two, three years in a row. And then we know at least one of those years the Deb was sabotaging the, the garden. Right. This can be evidenced by the classic. YouTube video known as Poor Little Feller, which was one of Henry's first cinematic productions. One of the first. I would look it up if I were you. One of the most popular. I'd say that's the second most popular video yeah. that we've ever done. It was, and it was a you know it was a group effort between father and son. And yeah. You know it. There was a certain amount of bonding between the boy and I when we did that presentation. I was proud. I'm always proud. My God. This boy of mine, he's just something else. I don't know what I'd do without him. Truth. All right. It's truth. It's truth.